Hello everyone, my name is Peggy Lyle and I am the director for the Downtown Fort Collins Creative District and I'm honored every month to be able to host Art Talk for Downtown Fort Collins. And this month is no exception. I have a wonderful guest, Chris Hess is here from Everyday Joe's. Welcome Chris, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good to see you. Good. Nice to see you, I can't believe it's already August. I know, it is already August. It's the month where everything in Fort Collins changes again with all the students oh moving gosh. back. So here we go. True, right, yeah, Fort Collins gets a whole facelift. It feels yep. new energy. Well, I try to say that, you know, August and September are still definitely summer. I know people are like, well, summer's wrapping up and that is not at all in my lexicon. I see, I'm the opposite. I'm like, middle of July, I'm like, I think it's, I think I can smell fall. I think maybe <laughs> I can smell fall. Well, great. Well, so, together we balance each other out great. really well. Great. <laughs> well, I'm super excited to talk about Everyday Joes, and I wanted to start off um, first just getting a little history about the business. Um, so tell me when you guys started and kind of what the business entails. You've got a lot under that roof. Yeah, we have a lot going on at 144 South Mason. We opened in 2003, and so it is crazy that it's been that long. Uh, we've That's really almost 20 years. I know we're about 20 years. We're coming up. We forgot to celebrate 10. We forgot to celebrate 15. Uh, and so we're going to celebrate 20. That's we promised to do that. And so it's really been in Fort Collins and like sitting outside right now and looking at the neighborhood. It's been wild to watch the neighborhood change over 18 years. Uh, but it's been a real privilege and it's kind of amazing that we're still here. Uh, we opened in 2002, backtracking a tiny bit. A church now called Timberline Old Town moved into this building and it was just sitting empty six days a week and so the thought was what could be in it that would be a benefit to the neighborhood and that would serve the neighborhood well and the idea of a coffee shop is what came up because in the early 2000s there just weren't that many which is hard to believe mm -hmm. you can name them on, <laughs> on less than one hand of fingers you could name the Old Town <laughs> coffee shops and so the, let's open this thing let's make it art gallery let's make it an event space let's promote the local arts and then the idea was also what if it was powered by volunteers mm -hmm. what if it was a, a a training space for hospitality uh, so cool what a neat yeah. concept so and that's what we're doing all these years later we're always asking the question how can we be a benefit to the neighborhood what adjustments need to be made but at the core of it is hospitality and uh, that's oh, yeah. what we well, want to do. You, and you guys are a fabulous space. I know you and I have gotten to work together um, many mm -hmm. a times, bringing music and entertainment and mm -hmm. um, dancing and everything into the space. And it, it really is a flexible space and a remarkable um, array of stuff. And I, I just can't believe you're coming up on 20 years. That's so exciting. That's yeah, wild. It's wild. Well, and now that building actually used to be an automotive garage, didn't it? Yeah, it was built in 1925 as a Firestone Auto Center. And <laughs> when you're out front, you can see the Firestone Fs up towards the roof line. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, where Tasty Harmony was, that was a gas station. And then where like uh, Bistro Natil and, and that whole strip on Oak Street, that was like the showroom for the tires. So oh, it was wow. all one big space. Yeah, pretty cool. I would have no, I had no idea about any of the other space. I just knew that you guys had some uh, automotive lifts and stuff, and that's why the ceilings were so yeah. tall in the building that you're in. Well, that's wonderful. Well, let's let's dive into the most amazing thing that's sitting right behind you. Tell us about your newest yeah. mural. Yeah, the mural, we, we got to, it was like in the middle of lockdown. It was something that like, as it was like, oh, we can kind of go out in public late May of 2020. Uh, we had been planning it all year long and we're still able to get it up on the wall. And it was designed by Claire Lindwall, who is our art director, Rachel Stark, who's a local artist. And then our friend Gregory Colstow, who's an artist out in Kansas City and founded a coffee company called Oddly Correct, whose coffee that we, we brew. Um, and all the imagery is, comes from an old poem in the scriptures from Isaiah 11. And the thrust of the poem is uh, like basically creatures getting together that might not otherwise be together around, around new life and around hope. Like that's the, 
like these things that shouldn't be together. So I don't know what you can see, but the wolf and we the lamb. We can see the whole thing. Yeah. So the wolf and the lamb and babies and snakes, like these, these creatures in the natural world that usually should not be put together because they will devour each other. Stop that. Uh, it's a, what, it, a, what a wonderful sentiment. I mean, that's so yeah, much about that's, peace and yeah. love and recovery. And it's so appropriate mm-hmm. coming out of 2020, which was such a tough year for all of us. Yeah, it feels really good. We've gotten to do a couple of events out here in front of the mural and use it as a backdrop for some stuff. And we want to do more of that. And so we'll see what happens in the future. But it's an amazing piece of art. I can't believe it, it happened. And, so. and it's been really fun to include it um, in kind of all of our uh, conversations about murals and people getting out and walking on their self-guided mm-hmm. tours and uh, being able to check them all out. So it's wonderful to have something uh, on your building because it's a nice, big, beautiful building. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Well, it's so a good let's, one. Let's dive into what you have going on in Slide because I know you have sure. again you have this flex space, so you use your space in all different kinds of artistic ways. So maybe talk about um, the gallery and some of the things you have going on inside. Yeah, definitely. And everything's really starting to finally come back to life, it feels like. The coffee bar never closed. It's been going through everything as, as best as we could. And yeah, there's so much that goes on in the space from private events to, you know, cafe, meeting, gathering space through the week. But what's really coming back strong, we have live music starting again at the beginning, at the, at the beginning of this month. Uh, and then... We also have our art shows coming back and hosting in-person First Fridays. And now you guys, it's the Bolt Gallery, correct? Bolt Gallery, yeah. So Bolt Gallery is what it's called. If you've ever been in, we have lightning bolts that worked through all our branding. And that's a tribute to the, the former owners of the building who gave us our first lease and basically gave us a chance. And so the, yeah, so the lightning bolt is this, uh, it's this reminder, this icon to give people a chance. And that threads into the artists. Like we want to seek out art that is like really, it, it meets a certain level of, of expertise and quality. Um, and then we want to encourage other artists to get to that certain level. And it's well, just- I know you guys also yeah. give a lot of opportunities to artists that maybe aren't being seen in the rest of the community. Definitely. Which I think it's amazing. Even even the mural, a lot of those names aren't necessarily folks who are doing murals, um, you know, right. with art and public places or just aren't as visible. So I love that you guys are integrating and giving artists a chance. Yeah, it's so fun. We love artists. All, everyone that is here is an artist on one level or another. So it is, it's this we're made up as a community of artists. And so we're like, hey, let's get your names out there. We see what you're doing. We see you, we know you, and people, we want everyone to see you and know you. So here's space, so oh, it's so fun. Awesome. And how, if people wanted to uh, ever put together a show or anything, how do they do that? How do they contact yeah. you? You can email art at everydayjoes.org. That's the best way. And we usually, towards the end of the year, for like November and December, we usually do a a group show. So Mm -hmm. if you're an artist that maybe you don't have this full collection that is big enough to be its own installation in a big space, that group show is something where we pick a theme every year and then we just put a spreadsheet out there to people who have shown interest. And it's like, okay, pick the part of the element of the theme you wanna do art about, let's talk about it. And then it's up for a couple months at the end of the year. Oh, wonderful. And so now inside, you guys are actually hanging a whole new show in the Bolt Gallery. Is that correct? Yeah, there's a new show going up. I wish I could remember the name of the artist. I think, Peggy, there's probably a website people could go to. There, there is. To check what this a, out. What a, Am I correct? What a great prompt. Thank you. Yeah, if, Thank if you. everyone wants to go to <laughs> downtownfortcollins.com, there's a list of all of the, um, the different folks who are participating as part of for, uh, art walk and that's the first friday component as well as all month long and you can click through there and you can actually get right to everyday joe's see bolt gallery and see exactly the artist and what the show is kind of um kind of composed of so that's going up now yeah. but um it's going to be up yeah, in two months is up. that right yeah we usually do shows that are two months long uh, just because it's a lot of work to hang art in the space because the ceilings are huge and the walls are huge and we found that 30 days just wasn't enough and so it'll be up all of August and September and the artist that isn't that has their stuff up for those two months 
uh, her, the first time she hung her stuff in the space was actually during one of those group shows. So, mm-hmm. and that translated to like, like she sold her piece at that group show and then uh, was able to make enough art to have her own show this year. So we're really excited. Wow, you really helped launch her, her art career. That's pretty yeah. exciting. So, and the reception is going to be in September for First Friday. So yeah. if people want to kind of experience it all month long, then they can also go in September and get to meet the artist and kind of hang out um, and, and ask even more questions. Yeah, so come see the art all of August, all of September, but that artist reception will be First Friday in September. Wonderful. And we'll also try to pop um, her name into the chat too, so everyone can see it there. Great. Um, this is great. I mean. What an amazing space. Again, I appreciate you guys so much. I We've had, you know, African dancing and I've mm-hmm. had drum groups and parts of Boko MX and so many things that have happened in your space. I'm glad to hear that you're getting back up and running in all capacities. Um, and, and yeah, just so exciting. So my last question is just what do people kind of do if they want to be a part of sort of art walk with you guys, if they want to come in your space, kind of what do they need to look around for? How do they kind of find out more more information? You can just go to everydayjoes.org and all the info is there for all of our events, including Art Walk. Uh, If you want to get involved with the art stuff, art at everydayjoes.org is the space to go to. And I mean, honestly, just come down to 144 South Mason and walk around the building. uh, Is it all free too? Is everything free? Uh, The concerts are not free right that's we're helping touring musicians get back on the roads the concerts are not free but all the art walk stuff is free always great the coffee is also not free but coffee's not free right (laughs) they more might pour a little extra but unfortunately you you need to we need to help support our neighbors well and if they can of course walk out and see the beautiful mural and experience kind of a walking tour of all of the beautiful oh yeah out there well yeah come yeah Sit on the patio at the regional and look at the mural. Sit on the patio at patio at the Rio and look at the mural. Oh my gosh! Uh, and you're right. And you're right off of the um, renovated alley there, off of Mountain Avenue. Yeah, it's fabulous with the big light installation. And yeah, yeah, you're you're in a you're in a good neighborhood. You're a good neighbor to have. We've hey, we've stuck around. The neighborhood's looking good. You end up here for 20 years. Things change, so I it's love great. It. Well, this was fabulous. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. Um, and again, if anyone needs information about Art Walk or about First Friday activities, you can go to downtownfortcollins.com. Again, my name is Peggy with the Creative District, and thanks so much for stopping by Art Talk.